That's a true Florida, in my opinion. LA Knights. I mean, <laughs> WWE's on your mind. <laughs> WWE's in my mind. LA Knights. LA, hey. Knight. LA Kings. LA Kings. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another BTR video. Before we get started, please like, comment, subscribe, and please help us get to 200 subscribers. Um, we're back at it again. Another tier list video. Uh, NHL season about to start. It starts on Tuesday, I believe. It starts this week. That's all that matters. Yeah. This is take two. Tuesday. It starts Tuesday. This is take two because uh, our original one was corrupt. So we're coming back doing this again, but um so universe saying that your tier list is shit so make another one yeah but to, uh, little does the universe know we're probably gonna be it's doing probably the same, same thing, thing yeah but yeah um we're back at it again make sure you guys follow our socials uh we'll be dropping our nhl preview video on tuesday um for the most part right before the season actually faces off i guess i gotta remember that now um just make sure you guys check out last year's ranking so you guys know how we ended off the season and the playoffs and in a couple of weeks check out our nba tier list as well but right now let's focus on the nhl so without a further ado let's start let's with the first team get it started um do you want to change it up a little bit what do you mean because there's two teams that we 100 percent agree on which is one team that deserves to be in the s and one team that deserves to be in f f and just get, just get them out of the way just, right? that's the benchmark Vegas is S, reigning cup champs. We, yeah, so we agree that. Try, let's keep it 30 seconds. Yeah, reigning cup champions. Um, dominant playoff run. Dominant playoff run with a couple of, with like a, what, third or fourth stringer? Yeah, Aiden that. Hill, yeah. And guess what? Yeah, the goaltending is still a question mark. You did pay him, but Logan Thompson could be back. And um, on top Robin of that, Leonard. Uh, Robin Leonard could be <laughs> back if he decides to play. I don't. I didn't hear any news about that, did you? Yeah, I didn't hear anything about that. Um, okay, so right now we're just going to assume it's Aiden Hill. And uh, on top of that, yeah, they lost p some pieces, but it doesn't matter they're too much. They're still good. They're yeah, still so good. they're S. They're going to be the, like the team we have to compare to. By the way, this is strictly everything on paper. This isn't us projecting standings. That will be on Tuesday's video. Yeah. So, All right, moving on to the opposite end of the spectrum, the San Jose Sharks. And they're F because they literally don't have a future right now except for the guy they drafted this year. Was They're it? just a full of young guys. Garrett Carlson's mm -hmm. gone. Not even fully full of young guys. Like... They, they still have bad contracts in um, Mark Edward Vlasic. You still got a uh, no, Thomas I'm not, Hurdle. I mean, like, you're, you're, like, they're young guys that they're going to wait on the... By that, I meant, like, you know, development and... Whatever young guys they have, but they don't have any elite prospect on the top of my head, except for, I think, was it Will Smith? Yes, it was Will Smith. Outside of him, really, like, I know, that I know of. But, yeah, they're the benchmark for F. I think everybody probably agrees that they might be the favorite for Mac Macklin Celebrini this year. Yeah. And uh, first off, we're going to start off with the uh, Anaheim Ducks. And they could join their California counterpart. Uh, but you could debate a D, I believe, as well. You can debate a D. Because, like, listen, I don't know how their contracts are working, but, like, you got Trevor Zegras, you got Troy Terry, you have, um, what's his other guy, young name? They drafted Leo Carlson. They drafted Leo Carlson. There's another young guy they have as well. Jamie Drysdale. Jamie Drysdale. So, you could, based on the young court, there's D, but I guess overall on paper... I guess we'll, we'll, we we could move it. We'll compare the teams to D again. Remember two years ago where they were actually decent and they're like kind of fighting for a playoff spot then they just fell off? Yeah. With like Zegras guys. So, I mean, based on last year, they were terrible. I, I, they didn't really add any, anyone for me that's going to make them be like, oh, they're going to be a new, new team. They're going to be at a different level. So, for that reason, I'm putting them in F as well. Yeah, like we'll compare it with what's their after. There's no one there. They have Alex Kalorn. Yeah, that's what the, that's the only signing. Oh, I don't even know that. But, yeah, Arizona, oh, Mason McTavish. And Mason McTavish. Mason but, McTavish. Yeah, moving on, Arizona Coyotes. They're D or C because, listen... Um, we'll start them off in D for now. Okay, because like, they made signings, right? Like Max... No, Max, no, me, sorry. Um, Matt the, Dumba. Matt Dumba. And listen, I'm not, again, I'm not projecting because... Uh, that's a different story because they're in a weak division. They are right? in a weak division. It's them and the the Central and the Pacific swapped now, right? Yeah, basically. Central has fallen off a little bit. And the Arizona, who everyone thought was going to be trash last year, actually was pretty decent. Right? Like, like they, weren't, they weren't at the bottom of the barrel that people thought they were. And uh, I just feel like they won't be again this year. So that's they, why I can't put them F. They added Sean Dersey. Yeah. On defense. The, um, Who else is there? Logan Cooley, who's a, Ryan Dezingle, Logan Cooley. 
uh, Dylan Gunther, Isn't Barrett Logan. Hayden, Clayton Keller, right? Like, I think they they could put up a fight yeah. in that division. And after Bedard, I think Logan Cooley He's is the one f- of the favorite. One of the favorites, right? Yeah. Obviously, after Jason Bedard. Zucker, right? So, I think they're arguably a C-tier team. Now, I don't know what we had in the mind or original because I completely forgot. But right now, yeah, you could leave I'm them in D. And pretty we'll, sure we'll, it was D, but I still do believe. I don't think they're good enough for C yet. They could argue it, though. They like, could, I won't be surprised at the end of the year. They could be like a C-. minus. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Boston Bruins. They're a B. Because uh, the simple fact, like, listen, everybody's going to be like, oh, historic team. Again, this is, isn't is based on what they did last year. That's literally the last uh, tier list. They have they no did. centers. Yeah. Like, they, they lost no both. They lost an, um, a Selkie winner, literally, and to retirement and uh, Patrice Bergeron. And then they lost uh, David Krejci, who came back and had a solid year, right? And he was a question mark last year. But this year, that like, you didn't replace him. Pavel Zaka's your main guy right now. Yes, you have Brad Marchand, but how much is he going to carry the load? And you have David Pasternak, right? But outside of that, you lost Dmitry Orlov to free agency to a pros- po- not their direct rival, but to another team in the conference. And uh, yeah, like I don't like I could this team could be potentially a wild card team coming up, and I I don't think they're a favorite to win it. Yeah, uh, when I like how I, like historic aside, I don't think they're the favorite to win their division. Yeah, yeah. right. I think there's like or there's two legit teams ahead of them, maybe three, and you could argue a fourth one, which will come to in a second. Yeah, they've fallen off from last year for sure, and uh, I agree with everything you said. But figure out your centers, and then we might put you. Yeah, high. like easily, you guys should have traded for. Uh, we'll expand on it a little bit more on the on the season preview, but you guys could have easily traded for Mark Shifley. And again, he's not Patrice Bergeron, don't get me wrong, but Elias Lindholm is it, Patrice. It, it, it's a center. Elias Elias Lindholm is. Patrice Bergeron light like he yeah. was sel- he's always like considered sulky I'm not saying he's top. half the man Patrice Bergeron yeah <laughs> but still like that's still good enough like Boston yeah. has that culture right with Marshawn and at least Hen- Leas Lindholm would have been that guy alright moving on to Buffalo Sabres are they B yeah I think they're B I think they're B too cause they're the one team that I said that could go ahead of they, them they missed there. the playoffs by I think a point or two last year yeah like they were in it until like the second last game of yeah, the year yeah um and if anything, I think they got better because I don't expect Tage Thompson to fall off. I don't. I don't expect him to fall off too. You know, uh, what's his name? Rasmus Dahlin finally. You yeah broke out. Uh, you have Owen Power, so your defense's core is still good. Tage Thompson's still there. Your obviously. question mark is that goalie, but let's see how what Devon Levi, Devon Levi does. Yeah, young guy. They lost uh, Craig Anderson. <laughs> hey, it was a beast last year. <laughs> but yeah, no, Rasmus Dahlin, right? And then Owen Power. Yeah. Um. You know, Zach Benson's not gonna be there, but like, who knows? He's killing it in the preseason. Tyson Jost came. Peyton Krebs has been decent. Yeah, Peyton Krebs right? from the Ico trade. Yeah, and then on top of that, you have um, Alex Tuck. Yeah, so Alex like, Tuck they well. they made noise last year. They have a culture set in place now. They have they have continuity. I will not be surprised if they were like the third team or even a wild card team next year. Yeah, that's true. Calgary Flames. C. Um. Horrible year last year. Now, um, now, the thing is, on paper, they still have the same squad, except Toffoli. Now, that obviously, that Toffoli was their best player last year um, based on performance. But you lost what you call the biggest cancer in the room, I guess you could say. Daryl Sutter. Daryl Sutter, because like, everybody wanted him gone. So, you could, he was sucking the life out of Parasite, whatever you want to say. I don't know if that's like the right word to say. Like, sucking the life out of the room. And you bring in, like, um, what do you call it? Forgot Ryan Huska, their yeah. assistant, who's supposedly made. Uh, Craig Conroy literally said, "We're we're trying to make this like a fun place to be." So clearly, it was not a fun place to be last year, and you had issues with uh, Jonathan Huberto's agent, like calling out uh, Daryl Sutter. So yeah, but on top of that, though, you had you have to base it on a little bit of last year, because like they, they didn't change much. They still have question mark. Are they going to re-sign a lot of these guys? Except for Michael Backlund, who they named captain, so they at least they have that culture set in place. But we have to see what Ryan Huska does, and um, yeah, like uh, I expect a proved team for sure. Yeah, I expect some bounce back performances. Huberto, especially Markstrom, Audrey's still there. Markstrom as well. Defense, I still like. You know, Rasmus Anderson, Chris Tanev. Uh, these guys could defend Noah Hannafin. Noah Hannafin. So, but at the same time, but at the same time, factoring in last year, factoring that. And that, you know, it's basically the same team. C is a fair mid-team, and I believe they're a mid-team right now. Carolina Hurricanes. Um, A or S, 
Uh, I think we finished off with S, and let's just stick with that. It's S. They're it's, S. It's, right? it's S, all right? I think they're arguably the best team in the conference. They, they added Dimitri Orlov. They added Dimitri Orlov. They locked up Sebastian Ajo. Yeah. So they don't have to worry about no contract stuff there. Um, Ken Freddie Anderson and who's the backup goal? Auntie Ronta. Auntie Ronta, whatever. Co- they don't want the issue, though. Well, yeah. I'm just saying in general, can yeah. they revive what they're they doing? The issue. They, they, their issue in the playoffs against the Florida series was health. Sebastian Ajo. Yeah. The whole entire playoffs, right? Who's arguably your, your second best player? Um, Brett Burns found a resurgent last year as well. Um, they're a good team. They're been they brought back Tony D'Angelo, um, and uh, what's it? J- uh, Jak- uh, Jacob Slavin. Oh yeah, Jacob Slavin. So, there. That's who I was. And on say. top of that, like it says, Sebastian Ajo's there. You you mentioned uh, uh, Seth Jarvis. No, you didn't mention that. You mentioned uh, Sebastian Ajo, but you have Seth Jarvis, Kokaniemi. Um, right, so I think they're fine. They're like the team. They're fine. They're, they're, they they upgraded slightly, if anything, they're, with Dimitri they're, they're Orlov. They're, they're and you have a culture set in place with Rod. Yeah, they've been they've been doing it the last few years. They've yeah. been in this this spot for the last few years. So I don't expect anything to change. Chicago Blackhawks. They're a D for me. They're not F. You bring in Taylor Hall along to pair up with Connor Bedard, and you bring in a, you know that's first of all Connor Bedard should help you a lot. Again, he's a rookie. But he's a rookie that has kind of proven in the preseason right now. And again, it's preseason. I get it that he belongs, clearly, right? Um, is he going to put McDavid numbers in his rookie year? I'm not sure, but he'll elevate them. And then you you give him um, Taylor Hall. And Taylor Hall's not a slouch, right? I feel like he's slight, Taylor Hall's been slightly underrated at times ever since uh, he left uh, Jersey. But uh, but ever since with Boston, he was fine. Like, he was perfectly fine there. And that's yeah. another person Boston lost, by the way. yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, Taylor Hall helps, but let's be real. They're not They're not good. Yeah, but they're, they're, I don't think they're F. They're not F. I think they're a they're tier above F. those Connor guys. Bada- Connor Bedard himself just takes them out of F, in my opinion. Yeah. Uh, Colorado Avalanche. A. They're an A team. Because, mm-hmm. simple as uh, fact, they're just not healthy. Yeah. Gab- Gabriel Landeskog is out for the year again. Um, this team is going to get carried by, as long as they're healthy, by Nathan McKinnon, uh, Mika Rantanen, and uh, uh, K- uh, Kale McCarr. Right, so like those three are gonna be the main pieces, like how you said, which we'll get to the Canucks. The three pieces there, there are the three pieces for me. Um, I think they're still like this in that Central's weak. I still think they're gonna win that division on paper, and um, still they, be a force in the playoffs. They can survive with the Lions. Um, the question mark is, can Ryan Johansson fill in the role of a second line center? Yeah, the thing is, you actually have someone who is a second line center. Yeah, unlike Whereas last year, last year it was didn't. Evan Rodriguez last year. Yeah, and he you didn't, didn't fill have it. that guy last year. This year, but the question is, can he live up to it, right? Because yeah, he has yeah, fallen off. Obviously, but they have someone now, right? I think they added Ross Colton as well from Tampa Bay. And uh, I believe Landis, I, I believe they'll survive without Landis Clark. And then That's on top of sure. that, like, listen, their defense is still the same. Devon Taze, yeah, yeah. Kale McCarr, Josh and Manson. And Gorgiev from last year. And they still have goalie. Gorgiev and, uh, and Sam Gerard. It's not the best goalie, but it's still... You know, obviously For that enough. team, you don't need a top goalie yeah, yeah. with that defense. And, uh, yeah, by by me saying I believe they're going to survive, I mean that they will still be the same team in the regular season without Landis Clark, barring any other injuries as well. Columbus Blue Jackets, I See. believe... See. Uh, I don't no, know. But, uh, it's C. Because, listen, they were not healthy last year. That's it. This year, you're bringing back Zach Rorensky. You added in... Uh, uh, what's his name? This, they added two oh, guys. Yeah, Severson. Severson. Severson, and yeah. they added the other guy, Provorov, on defense. Um, Mirz Lakin is a solid goalie. You still have Patrick Laine. You still have Johnny Goudreau. So you have... You're possibly adding Adam Fantilli to there with the Kenton Johnson. You, I just think they were not healthy last year. Okay, that was yeah. the only reason. Uh, you have the personnel. How are you going to overcome your coaching? Yeah, like I know. That, yeah, that's so, my question. Yeah, I guess it was. If Mike Babcock was still on the coach, still the coach with all this drama going on, I would drop him a tier because of that. But they got rid of him. Um, but maybe yeah, it's a good thing. There's no issue. I think their team on paper should be solid, right? Like I named literally. Yeah, yeah. A lot we, of top end. The fact talent. that we know the players. Is, yeah, right. The, on top of that, like and, look, and with San Jose, right? I can't name any top end yeah, players anymore. You can't name anyone. Dallas Stars are a team. Reason being, they have a young core finally set up. Robertson, uh, hence they're they're locked up. Miro Hiskanen, Jake Ottinger, right? And uh, they've been a playoff team these last couple of years as well. And uh, I believe that this, you know, how Dallas we from what we've seen, 
there's one year good, one year bad, one year good. I believe this core and this team is here to stay. And uh, they are there right there with Avalanche for me winning the Central. Yeah, no, I agree with everything you said there. Um, Jamie Benn kind of had a, like a little bit of a bounce back year. I'm not saying he was a Jamie Benn of old. Yeah. Tyler Sagan, okay, still question marks. I get but it. At the end of the day, it was Robertson's and Hens' team, right? With Pavelski, that line is one of the best in the NHL. And uh, it's their team now. It's not Ben and Sagan's team anymore. Matt Duchesne, did he get traded in that, this offseason? I think or? it was offseason. So Duchesne, there yeah. you go. That's a bit that's to add there. Um, and then on top of that, you still have Niels Lundqvist, who needs to bounce back this year. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I agree with you. I think they're those two guys teams are the top in that division, and but there's no one like a tier above yet. Yeah. Uh, Detroit Red Wings. See, I do. See, I agree with you. They they were in it last year. There too. were three teams we've classified as like teams that could take a step in the Atlantic Division: Ottawa, Detroit, and Buffalo. I do believe Buffalo is in a better spot right now. Detroit did fall off from a year before. But they added Alex Dabrinkit this they, year. But they added Alex Dabrinkit, which is a... Now, listen. Which every, is a good add. Every Canucks fan, clearly, you guys could tell we're Canucks fans here. Um, you could tell that... Uh, why did they get rid of Philip Hronik, right? Now, everybody assumes Steven Eiserman is like this god, <laughs> god GM that is doing something. But at the same time, he's made a lot of questionable signings. So maybe the Hronik will bite him in the ass later on. But you still have Mo Sider. Um, you still have... Um, What's his name? What uh, Debrinka added, and they were solid. Dylan, Dylan Larkin's Larkin is locked up now, yeah. so there's no issues there. Lucas Raymond, can he bounce back from his rookie year? Hey, sophomore slump is real. Yeah, so like the the question mark is there, but I don't think they're ahead of Buffalo yet. I I that's yeah I agree with that. Edmonton Oilers. Uh, it pains me, but it might be yes. They are yes. Reason being. They are healthier than Colorado, and they add they add pieces without really giving up too much, right? For example, at home last year, Connor Brown, Connor Brown could be a budget a, signing this could year. Could be a budget signing. Who as has well. some uh, chemistry? They, they with make these McDavid. little signings, little additions that like help their team a lot without giving up Listen, too much. Listen, a team with the best player by far, and then a top three player for sure. Right, like in some guys he's second, some guys he's third, some guys he might be fifth. Right, depending on the year. But this coming up from last year, he's definitely a second or third best player in the league. Build a team around him, and you did right. Like you still have uh, the biggest question mark. We all know what it is. It's goaltending. It's goaltending. Yeah. Can Stuart Skinner be the starter? Can Jack Hamill bounce back? I don't have faith in Jack Hamill bouncing back as much as I have Stuart Skinner. But me, like you said, you added defense and Matthias Ekholm. Um, Darnell Nurse, yeah, he might not be a elite number one. He's paid like one, but he's still solid. You still have Evan Bouchard, power play, uh, quarterbacking the power play there. They're listen at the end of the day, they're the best power play. You just dro- don't and just, McDavid is a penalty. You and Drysdale could draw penalties. You you're probably getting a fifty percent power play like they started off last year with. You you take a penalty, it's over for you. Listen, th- the team guys. last year they lost to Vegas. If they beat Vegas, they were probably going to go to the final and probably win it all. Yeah, Vegas and them are. And my obviously throw in Avalanche as well. Yeah, those are the three teams. And then you have depth Avalanche. pieces in Evander Kane, um, Zach, Zach Hyman, Ryan Nugent Hopkins had a career year last year. Um, yeah, and then you added. They're still some, set. Yeah, they're still set. I and think uh, they should be fighting for the division and the yeah, top again. It sucks to say that though. Yeah, but Florida Panthers. They're an A team. Obviously, Matthew Kachuk. Um, incredible year last year. Obviously, first year with the with the team. Um, Cinderella run to the finals against obviously um, uh, Vegas who ultimately dominated them but if Sergei Bobrovsky is the same Sergei Bobrovsky in the playoffs this team should have no issues making it but we also know the history of Sergei Bobrovsky Bobrovsky is very inconsistent where he has one year good one year bad and ever since and this year it was like this past year was like Regular season, eh, but postseason, great. <laughs> Florida struggled to make it, right? Like, if, if Chicago didn't beat Pittsburgh near the end, Florida might have been out. But, yeah, like, but well, Matthew Kachak is making it, you know. So, like, there's a big five, right? You have McDavid, Drysaddle, McKinnon, Matthews, Matthews, and uh, whoever your fifth guy is, or is it? Who would be the fifth guy? Th- then you could throw in Kachuk there. Kachuk is arguably there. Pasternak is arguably there. Pasternak and um, uh, who is a healthy, a healthy Kucherov. 
Yeah, that yeah, that was well. my fifth guy. Yeah. So Kachuk is Kachuk is proving that these last couple of years that he belongs in that company. Not that, only that, you have a he is that superstar guy. You have a Selkie caliber guy in Alexander Barkov, um, and then uh, you Aaron have Ak guys Aaron Ekblad in the back end, right? So. Yeah, no, I think this team should be an eight based. This should team was on paper last year was an A tier team. They just didn't live up to it. This year they probably would have been a B tier team like Calgary, how we expected more. But they made that run to the final and they showed that's the true Florida. That's, that's true the Florida. true Florida in my opinion. I don't think it was that, just a Cinderella. That is a true run. Florida. That's the true Florida in my opinion. LA Knights. I mean, <laughs> WWE is on your mind. WWE is in my LA Knights. LA, Knight. LA Kings. LA Kings. <laughs> They're a B tier team. Uh, uh, yeah, I can't put them as the same as Avalanche, but they're still pieces away. Their gold is a huge they're question mark now. It is without Corpus Allo anymore, and uh, yeah, I, I think they're below Avalanche a tier for sure. And uh, I do, do believe Dallas is a better team, and I do believe Florida is a better team, but they're still young. They're 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 pieces away, like you said. They've been doing it these last couple of years. They uh, got the experience, they're and then they're getting experience now. How do you? And I'm adding Brad Clark, but they lost pieces. Yeah. Keep in mind, they, they added pa they added a uh, Pierre Luc Dubois. They added Pierre Luc Dubois, but they lost like the dead pieces. like gave Lardy, I follow, and all these guys, right? And uh, we'll see. Pierre Luc, Pierre Luc Dubois himself is not like the consistent player. Either, and, uh, yeah. I think we'll that see, that that's, that's like a high risk, high reward. Yeah, addition there, and if it works out, they could listen. They could be moving up this. This should be moving up this list, in my opinion, by the end of the year. I, I because just think I, expect th I expect them their experience these last couple of years will help them a lot. Like if this is going by division, logically they should be A because you literally put the two teams in S. But I could see them competing with a Calgary, a Canucks, and Seattle for the third wild card spot as well. Yeah, I could see them competing, but I still do believe they. I yeah, I believe they're, that they're, they're the best. they have the edge right they're now. The better, they're the best. They have the edge yeah. right now for sure. Minnesota Wild B as well. Um, I don't think they're in the same tier as Dallas, especially. Uh, yeah, I, last year, sure. This year, I'm not so sure yet. Um, they always they always do this, right? Like, have a great regular season and choke in the play first round every time. Yeah. Um, Kirill Kaprizov needs to be a playoff performer for me. I understand he's arguably a top 15, 10, whatever you want to put him as a player when in the regular season. But I need to see more. Um, I, I get it, Matt Dumba wasn't like this elite guy for them, but it's still a decent loss, heart and soul type guy in my opinion. Um but yeah, like, but I think they'll be fine. I still, th I think they have the opportunity to be an A by the end of the year, though. Uh, but right now, I think this, they're a B tier this, this team. This is one of the teams that like, just, just stay stable for me. Right? Exactly. Like they don't do anything great. They don't do anything bad. So they just do enough to make the playoffs. The issue is when you do enough to make the playoffs, you don't really win in the playoffs. Yeah. Uh, Montreal Canadiens. I think this they're is, a D tier team. This is one team yeah. off camera that we have. Had debates about the different views on. Uh, I believe they're F tier, but you believe they're a D tier. I believe they're a D tier. Ultimately, team. we're gonna keep it the same in our first tier list that got corrupted. We kept it, we put them at D eventually. Well, okay, wait, wait. You didn't corrupt it. It just got corrupted. Huh? The video just got corrupted. Not you. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> so, it, the file got corrupted. I just want. I'm defending you here. Huh? Oh, the no, file no, just I got corrupted. Have done something. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> okay. But yeah, so we ultimately we put them in D. So yeah, just. To keep base it off that, we'll keep it same. Because listen, I think there's still like Nick Suzuki, Yurov, Slavkovsky, right? Tanner Pearson's a good locker room guy there. Alex Newhook's a decent player for them. Sean Manahan, same same vibe. Brandon Gallagher, right? Kirby Daw, Cole Caulfield, Josh Anderson. Like I think offensively they're there. Defensively, yeah, goaltending is question mark for sure because well, I don't even know who their goalie is. Jake Allen, um, Sam Montembeau. Sam Montembeau, yeah. Yeah, so defensively, sure. Like, I get it, but I still think they're better than the two teams in F. Like, a tier So, better. here's my dilemma. They're on the same level I, as um, um, Chicago for me, for sure. I I thought Chicago and Arizona might have a little bit of edge, but I do believe they're better than the Ducks and uh, especially the Sharks. Yeah. So, I thought they were like an F+, plus, like 49%, 48% team right there. I still disagree with that. I think they're like in the 50s. And I think they're they're on the same level as Chicago, in my opinion right now yeah so i guess comment down below because this is one thing that we haven't really seen eye to eye on so just unless you're a canadians fan yeah, unless you're a canadians <laughs> fan you probably think you're like a a team or something yeah <laughs> but yeah national predators the definition of mid c yeah. listen the funny thing is they kind of sold at the deadline and they almost made the playoffs you have uc sorrows you always have a chance you have roman yossi right um like those are the two main guys, I, and then you added locker room guys and Philip Ryan O'Reilly. 
Yeah, and you had a locker room guys in Ryan O'Reilly and uh, so Luke Shen. One thing that confused me is that you were selling at the trade deadline, almost made the playoffs, and mm-hmm. then uh, you signed Ryan O'Reilly and made all these signings, Luke Shen. I think it's like, just mainly like they just want locker back. room guys. That's it. Like, I don't think they're they're two guys that will push you over the top. I think Ryan O'Reilly at this point in his career isn't the guy to push you into a playoff spot. I think those, yeah, it's long term signings, but we're exactly, not judging. Like, we're not judging that though. Yeah, um, but, but I'm, on I'm the roster still, I think they're still a C tier team because of yeah, that I'll, as well. Ju- but I'm just bringing this up, just like as a confused individual. Oh yeah, for sure, I, I agree with you. Barry Trotz, I don't know like uh, what he's running there, but uh, you know Barry Trotz is always uh, defense, defensive hockey for him. Yeah, even though he said he was gonna go, um, I still think yeah, like on the back end, you I still have Ryan McDonough who was decent for Tampa all those years. You got Tyson Barry who's still decent, right? And then. Uh, Philip Forsberg, like you mentioned. And yeah, like Gustav Nyquist was yeah. decent. But like, yeah, they're like a mad team. Like they're, they're definitely not going to... They're mid. They're mid. Like they, I could see them making a slight push at the wild card spot like last year, but that's about it. Yeah. New Jersey Devils. This right here is an S team. Um, it's my favorite early prediction right now. Before any like true research. This is a team that is stayed the same and added in Tyler to Foley was a big signing obviously they lost David Severson but their defense is going to get better because you have Simone Nemich in the pipeline you have Luke Hughes who should be playing from the beginning this year could be a Calder candidate Calder candidate himself oh maybe Qu- maybe mark, battle for second but question yeah. mark is goalies obviously yeah but to be fair to the goalies in the playoffs Akira Schmid and uh, Vitek Vanacek yeah that was their first run at it, first run at it as well and they made it to the second round like, yeah they in my opinion, upset the Rangers. I thought the Rangers were a better team. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they did well. And uh, it's dumb. And, uh, like, these are four teams, right? Obviously, with the division no layout, these guys can't meet meet each other in the conference finals. Like, they're obviously... Um, but in our opinion, these two teams, these four teams, two in the West, two in the East, are the top two yeah. in the conference, in our, in, in our opinion. Let's... Uh Let's uh sorry. I'm just gonna say I don't care about the preseason much, but being seven and zero in the preseason. <laughs> no, I get, I get it because uh, Edmund. Sorry, it was it Colorado yeah. a few years ago where seven and zero and they finished with forty something points. So obviously I'm not gonna I'm not basing it off that, but still it's a uh, like I said the young guys are playing most most likely and they're killing it that way. And guess what? You're still continuing with Dougie Hamilton, uh, Jack Hughes. You probably might have a sulky winner this year, Nico Hischier, because he was a finalist yeah, last yeah. year. And I believe one of the underrated players in the league, Nico Hischier, as well. Yeah, Nico Hischier. So, there. and then, like you said, Tyler Toffoli, along with Andre Palat, you have winners now. Like, Andre Palat from yeah, last Andre year. Palat, yeah. So, yeah, and Toffoli is a winner. Uh, I think that's a yeah, great Toffoli's pickup a for him. As well. Shout out former Canucks bench boss, uh, Travis Green, associate coach there now as well. Oh, well. Actually, and, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, you know how Nashville Predators is a mid-team in the East? I believe these guys are mid-team in the West. Yeah. I mean, no. I just mixed it up. Yeah. <laughs> Nashville <laughs> Predators are mid team in the West. These guys are the mid team yeah. in the East, and that is the New York Islanders. Um, I, all I see in this team is an old GM, uh, old guys, and fat contracts. And uh, you guys just, ever since your back to back year ECF runs, you just never really got over the hump again and barely missed the playoffs. Barely missed the playoffs and then barely made the playoffs this past year. But. You're you're just in that bubble where like you're in the no no man's land, right? You're not you're not the you're not the worst, but you're not the best. Listen, you paid Bo Horvat and you have to you better hope as Canucks fans, that was Bo Horvat's career year, right? That was his career. Because uh, we haven't seen him shoot at the highest percentage. And when he went to New York, it dropped a little bit, right? With the Canucks it was a different story. We we're like high power offense with Bruce Boudreau at the time before Tockett came in. And uh with so Horvat's numbers Started to drop once he got went over to uh, uh, the, Islanders. the Islanders, right? So, yeah, um, I think they're just, yeah they're the mid team. They're literally a team that'll probably fight for a divisional, sorry, wild card spot. And at, I won't be surprised. The, the I best. won't be surprised if they make a wild card run, but that's it. Like that's their ceiling. Yeah, at the best. Like their though. division has t- uh, the Rangers, Canes, and Devils. Like the difference between the Wild and these two teams, because people could say that they're similar. The yeah. thing is, the Wild is consistent 2-3 seed in the yeah. division, right? Whereas these guys, no ceilings are just second wild card. Plus, spot. if the Wild Maybe. play the Islanders, I won't, I won't, I'll I'll probably pick the Wild in general. Yeah. I could Kirill Kaprizov by far and away on his, like, the high. If you picked up the players at their highest peak, Kirill Kaprizov is the best player. And Matt Barzal always seems to be injured. 
Yeah. Especially this past year. Uh, New York Rangers. I still believe they're the same team, so I'm putting them in A. Uh, I do believe the teams in S are better. Yeah. But they they still have the same core, right? They still have Artemi Panarin, Mika Zibanejad. Um, Shesterkin. Shesterkin. Adam, Adam Fox. Adam Fox, right? So, um, Keandre Miller. Keandre and Miller. And, and then they have like your kid line, whatever it yeah. is. The kid line obviously has been underwhelming, especially two out of the three. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Filipino's been good, but... The other two have not been. Because they were higher picks too. Kapo, Kako. Kako and Lafreniere, right? Yeah. Especially Lafreniere. That's a disappointing one. Because yeah. he was... He was a number one lock that year. But like, like he, he not he, he's probably not generational like McDavid or Bedard. Yeah. But he was a number one lock. Yeah, I know. Rangers obviously didn't work out with Tarasenko and Kane. Um, they're both gone now. But but even before them, I still thought they were a decent yeah. team. Uh, they added uh Blake Wheeler for cheap, and I think he's a good locker room presence type guy as well. Yeah, I still think they're an A tier team. I think they could, they could challenge for the division in general. Yeah. Um. But I still think the other two teams are better than them, by far. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah. Um, moving on, Ottawa Senators. B. They're in the exact same boat as Buffalo right now. They're the team that I say that would arguably take Boston spot along with Buffalo, if everything clicks. Because Ottawa still has question marks with the um, the new ownership. Is DJ Smith gonna stay? Is uh, Pierre Dorian gonna stay? Is those are the question marks? Yeah. But what they've done so far. Personnel wise. Yes, you lost to Brinkett, but he didn't want to be there anyways. Yeah, you didn't get a you good. You kind of replaced him with Tarasenko. Yeah, but again, not a great return. Yeah. But it's not young of it. Yeah. But at the same time, you added Tarasenko, like you mentioned. You still have Giroux, Josh Norris, Brady Kachuk, Thomas Shabal. You added Chikrin last year. You love the Corpus Allo signing. A lot of I'm, a I'm, lot of Ottawa guys are like, it's, it's a hit or miss right it's now. It's a hit or miss. Yes, you played him long term uh, and a lot of money, right? But he's a. We can agree. Everyone can agree that Corpus Allo is a very good goalie and a much much bigger improvement than what you had last year. So that's why I like the signing because I felt like they had an issue there and they solved that issue with this Corpus Allo signing. And for that reason, that's that's what gives me confidence that like you know. So you no believe that he'll be what he was in the playoffs? Yeah, exactly. And uh, he wasn't the issue when the Kings lost. And uh, I just believe that with that question mark being filled for me, that like this team seems complete. To me on paper. Yeah, and then on top of that, you still have... Uh, Especially with the Chicharin ad last year. Jake Sanderson still there, right? Drake Batherson and all that. I think they're a good young team that's on the rise. Uh, they can make noises. Like, they could, they could take a devil's jump. I won't be surprised. From last year, not this year. Yeah. Like, I won't be surprised if they take a slight... I would say slight lower than what the Devils did last year, but, like, similar vibe. Yeah, I agree with that. Uh, So, moving on to the... Flyers and their F. F. Yeah. Probably the worst team in Philadelphia. Philadelphia. Like, I'm talking about, like, in general. Like, oh, yeah. That's always been the, the case. The Phillies, Eagles. <laughs> okay, I was so confused. Seven Sixers. Like, yeah, they're, they're arguably the worst. T- I think they're the worst team in the uh, whole, not the whole league, but the whole conference. Yeah, each, yeah, 100%. I don't see anyone as bad as them right now. Uh, So, yeah, just moving on. There's not, there's not enough to talk yeah. about. Right. They're just uh, waiting for Mitch Kov, That's it. <laughs> to yeah, get that's the right. true. That's the like two or three years, whatever wait it for is. for Mitch Kov, right? Uh, Pittsburgh Penguins. So this is where the question is. Do you think the Eric Carlson signing does enough to put them in A? Uh, like, I know they missed the playoffs last year, but they barely missed. They barely right? missed. And for they all we know, if they had won that game, they could have maybe had the Cinderella run like, yeah, the, yeah, like the Panthers, true. right? So do you think the Eric Carlson I mean, ad is enough for them to uh, be contending again for a conference final, final run? Or do you think they're still like, okay, like they you, need to you prove it see, right now? You could see they're like big guys, you know, obviously Latang, Carlson, Crosby, Malkin, right? All these guys are good, but they're old. So we just Jake don't. Gansel. Jake Gansel's a young one. That's what they include. Oh, okay. That's the older. Yeah. Um, so the the thing is like, I just don't know when these guys are going to fall off. Listen, Crosby ain't falling but, off anytime soon. And but I don't think it Malkin. just feels like, to me, it does feel like there's one last hurrah for them. And I feel like they will clutch up. So, so you think they're starting off with B and then might be an A by the end of the year? Yeah, I just feel like there's too many question marks, especially with the with the age, right? And health as well. Uh, because we know Crosby had his fair share of injuries throughout his career. We know, Chris Carl- Latang we know Carlson been a- Carlson's career. been injured, but Carlson ain't going to get 100 plus points again. That's true, 100%. Right? Like we have, you're pairing him with like Tang and whoever else is there and you get, Crosby's going to be the lead scorer Probably with Malkin, Jake Gensel. I mean, Jari's still there. Jari's still good enough to. Surprised like, about that contract, but yeah, it's a big contract, but he's still good enough to win you, uh, win you games. 
But the issue with him, again, injuries as well. You have Ndalkovic, based on right now, I'm not sure if he got cut or anything, but... Yeah, you're looking at the roster. I want to I see... I'm kind of interested to see what like what a, the roster is as well. Okay, so the goalies right now that I think that are going to be there are Jari and Ndalkovic. Uh, I don't know how good Garrett Spark... Again, I'm not a goalie expert, so I don't know how good Garrett Sparks and Mac... But don't tell me the whole... Like, tell me the players No, 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 I'm just saying. Okay, the players the I know, roster. Ryan Graves... Uh, Eric Carlson, Chris Letang, Marcus Pedersen. Uh, those are the defenders I know. Nola Chari, Jeff Carter, Sidney Crosby, Lars Eller, Jake Gensel, Evgeny Malkin. Yeah, so... Ricardo Cal, Brian Rust, Riley so, Smith is there. Yeah, Riley Smith is there. That's who they're added. Uh, I, was, I knew it was Colin missing. White. Like, those are the names I recognize. Uh, so, I think, yeah, they're like... They're old. They're older, for sure, But the yeah. question mark is... For them is is old. So you think the is three, it gonna be gold? Do you think they're that's my question? So you think right? they're below the Rangers then? Because in the same division, right? Yeah, I do believe the Rangers are a better team. You're be- that's okay. Why. So that's so you're confident saying the Rangers are probably the third best team in that division, and you will be surprised if you will be surprised if actually I won't be surprised if Pittsburgh goes ahead of the Rangers. I'll be disappointed in the Rangers. Yeah. Uh, Seattle Kraken for me they're they're starting off B, but they're, they're a team that I could see the falls to see. Just because also see they could also go up to A. <laughs> true, but, but I think they're like you. You said it perfectly. There are a bunch of third liners, except for Matty Beniers. Yeah, there are a bunch of like third line pairings. I guess you could say line. They have a complete. They have a complete team in third liners, though. They right? have a complete team, right? So uh, the question is, can they carry this over next year? Because we expect Calgary to be better. We expect the Canucks to be better. We already know the two other teams in there. Yes, the, uh, and sorry, the the Kings and the Kings, right? Last year, let's see. The pro- the question is how how much of last year is a fluke. I'm disappointed in them not adding like a, a Eric Carlson guy. type piece, but not maybe not Eric Carlson, but like a big guy, right? They have the cap space. You proved it last year, you right. Um, but again, the big question they have a culture set in place. Like the, like you said, third liners hard work. They were rejected by their teams. Like that was the model they of have a culture, expansion. Yeah, yeah. So the I I believe I agree with you. They're a B, but I will not be surprised if at the end of the year we put them down to C though. But I won't be surprised if they move up to A, like they were, like they probably would have been last year as well. Yeah, uh, I won't be surprised if they. But even if they I go to A, it's based yeah. on expectation yeah. because they're supposed to be the fourth best team. Yeah, on Yeah, but I'm just saying I won't be surprised if, yeah. if they like you know continue what they did last year as well because right. that culture and that tone setter has been set. Uh, so the St. Louis Blues. It's. I think if they're still a C tier team. Yeah, I think they're a C. I don't know what happened last year, but I, I, I still minus. believe in Jordan Cairo. I think he's a great player. Robert Thomas. Robert Thomas. Um. Yes. Bennington. Tory Krug rejected a trade and wanted to stay with you guys because of the no trade clause. Yeah. Bennington. Yeah. Is he gonna fight people? You, uh, <laughs> That's the question. Bennington is he gonna fight mark. people or is he gonna pay attention uh, and play properly? Kevin Hayes is a good ad for them. He's a good player, from uh, f- uh the Flyers. So yeah, I still. I'm not. I still think they could have fight with the wild. I still think you're kind of like you're kind of like a mid team. Like me. I won't be surprised if they fi- I too surprised if they finish third as well. Like I don't know yeah, why. I just the, have that feeling. That's the max. That's, that's the, the max. I don't think they're close to the other that's guys. Like, that's a big. But again, they're like Pittsburgh in a way. They're older, except Cairo and Thomas in a way. But like guys like Colton Pareko, Robert Pertuzzo, Justin Falk, right? They, these guys are I think on the older end. Um, but I also think that. Kairu and uh, Robert, Robert Thomas, Thomas are good enough to like do well, right? So I just when I see Blues, I just feel like there's another predator. It's like a yeah, a like it does remind me of that. All right, these next two teams, I'm actually move them there right now. They're eight. We'll talk about them together. That's fine. Uh, Tampa, Leave the Canucks for last. Uh, Tampa and Toronto, right? Um, they've been last what two, two years or three years in a row. Two or three years of uh, they've they've been the second and third best team in that. In their division and where they face each other in the playoffs, and uh, Tampa is not the same cup team that they were before. And the big question with Tampa right now is Vasilevsky's health, and, and Vasilevsky's he's out for the first what two months? Two months. So yeah. that I mean I don't think they'll put him in. No. They need a goalie, that's for sure, because like you said, they're older. Yeah. Right, and um, that could hinder them the first two months of the year. <laughs> it really can. Uh, in that division as well. Yeah. That division. conference in general. In conference in general, Eastern conferences. Yeah. Insane. And Toronto Maple Leafs, it's the same question mark, uh, same question mark year in year out. Regular uh, season, they could be the they will be winning the division most be, likely. Yeah, yeah, they could win the division this year, right? Yeah. Uh, with Boston falling off, maybe Florida could you no know, step in there. Obviously Tampa as well, but this is probably one of their years where they could actually win the division. And uh, this is the last year before Tampa Bay. This is the last year before Sheldon Keith gets fired and one of the big four get traded. We don't know what's happening with William Nylander. But yeah, the issue is. 
But are on paper, you, they're still stock. Are you going to choke? Number one. Number two, your defense. You clearly went the aggressive route. You added Ryan Reeves. You have Max Domi and Tyler Bertuzzi there. Yeah. You got better. You Offense, got, you, you offensively. Got, you got better. But defensively, defense is a question mark. major question marks. Because yeah. um, John Klingberg ain't a defensive player. He's an offensive defenseman. And then obviously... With the defense, goalies also. How much is Morgan well. Riley gonna be there? And yeah, yeah. Go- goalie. All right, Washington Capitals. To me, you think they're D? I still think they're, they're slightly D C. team. I think. I know that what their goal is. Their Stanley Cup right now is to get a Vechkin past Gretzky. Yeah, but I just, I just, I don't know. Other than Vechkin, I don't really see much with this team here. Obviously, I might be missing someone. You, I mean, you could take quick take peek at the roster. I know they added Rasmus uh, Sandin, but again, I'm not saying that they guy. fell off. They fell off last year. Last Pretty quick. Year. Like a lot of people predicted it. Yeah, yeah. And it actually happened. It's their team that's aging, right? They're like, they depends. They're, they're, they're they give a massive aging. contract to Tom Wilson. <laughs> yeah, I don't understand that either. But I just don't see anyone really gonna. Listen, I think this roster right now. Uh, isn't like Nicholas Backstrom out for the year as well? No, isn't he back? He's back. Or was that he last year? He came back last year. Yeah, it was last year. Okay, yeah, but. Yeah, like there's nothing under his name. So they're they're, they're old team. They're yeah. old, like Kuznetsov, Nick Dowd, Anthony Manta, Sonny Milano, TJ Oshie. Once upon a time, was I love TJ Oshie. Max Pacioretty still out for the yeah. Achilles. I just I I don't. I just feel like they might be similar to last. They're year. like my version of the Rams. I don't know why, like of the LA Rams. Just because like you feel like yeah, like how you're putting up counting them out. The thing that Rams actually had like, stud pieces. Ovechkin is still big of enough stuff where, to score. Where. Capitals only have a veteran. Where the Rams have like Cooper Cup, Stafford, and Aaron Donald. I still like uh, John Carlson, but yeah, John Carlson I still like too. Yeah. I okay. You can you can leave him in D. I'm, I'm not gonna argue too much with it, but I could see them being a C tier team. That's what I gotta say. Like I think they're a mid. They can move team. up. Yeah, they're a uh, mid team. They're a mid team, but below average. I, I think below average is a fair start for them. Winnipeg Jets. C. Uh yeah. They're a non unpredictable team. Like, they did well in the Pierre Luc Dubois trade. Right, like you mentioned, Il Falo and um, was Gabe Lardy, who's Gabe the L- player I like. Yeah. The player of my eyes was like, they got Gabe Lardy. I think, yo, this guy could help him out a little bit. But, like, obviously they lost Blake Wheeler. I'm not saying he's a, he was the same Blake Wheeler. You don't know what's happening with Shifley and Hellebuck right now. But again, they're on the team. They're not traded at the time of this recording, right? And um, I still think they can make a playoff r- push. They made the playoffs last year at the end of the day. They made the playoffs last year. But at the same time, I could see them shitting the bed. Yeah. Because that... that Locker room has been fragile for the last few years. We're first with Paul Maurice, and then at the end of the year, um, who did they? Rick Bonus, who's their coach. Yeah. And then you had Shifley saying, "I don't like disagreeing with Rick Bonus post." Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, post but playoff. Like, exit. To be fair, the injuries didn't help in that in that playoff loss to the Vegas. Yeah, no, for Knights. sure. And uh, like I believe he, they're I believe they're still a similar team to that team that made the playoffs. Listen, so if they need, if they're gonna make the playoffs, Connor Hellebuck has got to re, uh, f- uh, be Connor Hellebuck once again. Yeah, that's, that's true. like that's the main thing for me. And then the Morrissey, offense, who's Morrissey their, has to be Morrissey up. has to come back to Norrissey. Yeah, and who's their offensive real piece? Shifley. Shifley is a big one. Yeah, like they lost Dubois at the end of the day. Like he yeah. was still like their centerpiece, as good as Ifalo and Velardi are, but they aren't like Kyle Connor. Is yeah, oh yeah, Kyle Connor. How can I forget him? But yeah. last, but maybe least, hopefully not. The Are going to be the biggest ask. question mark of the team and not being biased here? They're a C team. Yeah. Like obviously, I was They're arguing B team. last time. I'm not going to argue much. The more I think about it, the more I watch the preseason. They haven't... They haven't figured out the defense yet. They haven't proven anything. Their lines. Yeah. Right? We're, we're, we project them to be better. Yeah, right? no, for sure. But at the end, they, they haven't proven anything. And On paper, they are better than last year. That's for sure, right? Yeah. Like, so with Calgary, we're hoping that they find their form like, again. Honestly, if, if they didn't make those signings... I could argue D. Yeah. But the fact that, you know, they made those, you know, signings that's going to help your penalty kill and should help your defense as well uh, makes me confident that they are a better team than last year, especially under Rick Take, who's probably, I feel like, has just some sort of sense of control in the locker room, right? They're going to be more defensive. Um, the question is, can their defensive players hold out, right? Like, we know Quinn Hughes, and he's arguably could be a Norris candidate for them to make the playoffs. Yeah. Um, Damco, Damco has to be a Vesnet candidate and like healthy. two years ago. PD doesn't have to be 100 points, but, like, close to it. But, but the question mark is secondary scoring secondary for scoring, me. Yeah. That's the biggest question mark. And they're going to be playing more defensive-style hockey, right? Because in the preseason, they didn't score much. Uh, again, preseason, I don't give a shit too much. I'm not looking into it. For me, preseason's always about how the young guys are going to look. Shout out and job, B-Boy. R.H.D. Baines, who should make the roster at some point. Not Does he, at he, some point, not, not, the, not, not the, the beginning, beginning of the year. But at some point, he should, he should be like the first up, yeah. call up from what I'm hearing because he's, he's killing it. Yeah. So 
Yeah, no, you know what? I'm not gonna argue much with B. Like I did last time. I could see them being B. That's but they that's that's up. projection. This though. this a team like the Winnipeg. I said they could move up, but they could also move down. They're proje- I'm projecting B, but I, right now I right I'll now agree with C. C. So, so yeah. the more I thought about it off camera after the last one when, when we recorded yeah. this, I agree with it. The only one I still disagreed with you was the Montreal, and I still stand by what I said. Yeah, so this is our final tier list right here. Be- so you're fine with Arizona there? Uh, yeah, I'm fine with all the teams here, honestly. Um, I think it's obviously probably same as last time. Boston fans are probably gonna kill us if they yeah, see Boston this. Yeah, Boston fans, they're not gonna be too happy. Yeah. Uh, but we don't care. Get a center. Yeah, yeah get a center. <laughs> you had one. If you had gone just a last home, I would put you in a. Simple as that. Yeah. But yeah, so comment down below. This is our final tier list. What would you change? Who would you move up? Who would you move down? And uh, if you believe that Sharks deserve their own category or not. And uh, yeah, make yeah. sure you guys check out our Sunday or make sure to check out our season preview Tuesday. Like we mentioned, we're working on, I'm in contact with some people, some guests. Again, we're brand new podcast, so it's tough to get people on and find yeah, schedules, yeah. especially with me working full time. But we are trying to reach out to people, some names you've heard of, maybe some names you haven't heard of. Uh, to talk some hockey and get our knowledge up a bit, but see if they agree with our if this list is somewhat accurate. Um, and yeah, make sure you guys comment what you guys think down below. Comment your favorite team. Comment who you think is winning the cup. And yeah, make sure you guys check out future tier lists, past tier lists. And other than that, we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. Peace.